Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Nickelodeon logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop first, I have this Nickelodeon logo, you can get this logo easily from the Google. So first thing first, we need all these alphabets on the separate layer but right now all these things are on one layer only. So for that what I'll do, I'll press M on my keyboard to select this rectangle selection tool, so shortcut key is M and we will select this N like that and then we will press Ctrl X to cut this N. Then we will create a new layer and press Ctrl Shift V so it will paste in place this n and we will hide this now we have to follow the same procedure for all of this alphabets hit ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v and hide this layer we will follow the same procedure for this c also new layer press ctrl shift v and hide it now as you can see we have k over here so if i try to select this k with the help of this rectangle selection as you can see it's selecting the e portion also so i'll hit ctrl d to deselect it and instead of choosing re uh, rectangle selection i'll choose lasso selection lasso tool so shortcut key is l and then we will select this k like that hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and you can choose this tool for remaining alphabets like that or you can press simply press m and you can choose rectangle selection tool to select this alphabets and to paste i'll do this procedure quickly So all my alphabets are on the separate layers as you can see now i'll save this file in my pc the file format is psd photoshop only then i'll go to the after effects i'll create new composition i'll call this as main animation and width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 duration 30 background color is white and hit ok then choose grid and guide option and hit title selection now i'll press ctrl i on my keyboard to select my psd file i'll select this psd file import as footage i'll choose composition rate and layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok and double click on it i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl c to copy all of them go to the main animation and hit ctrl v and bring them in the middle of it now right click new and create one null object i'll select all of them and i'll make it parent with this null one select this null one press s and decrease the scale of it and adjust it at appropriate size let's make them 50 or let's say 45 go to the align tab align this null object like this let's move this over here now we will delete this null object we don't need that anymore so right now i'll select this e and i'll select this e and by holding shift i'll move this over here like that now i'll select this e and i'll bring this at the top press p for position select this position right click and i'll choose separate dimensions now i'll hide all these remaining layers i'll select all of them and i'll enable the shy option and then this option these layers are still there but we cannot see that if because the shy option is on and if i click over here it will hide them they are still there but we uh, cannot see them because we don't need to see them right now so i'll select this layer i'll create one keyframe at y position go over to around 20 frames and i'll move this over here then go to 1.10 frames select this first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v go few frame forwards create one keyframe and in middle of that i'll move this over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this over here and this over here select this let's move this over here sorry select this handle move this over here 
let's select this move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of bouncy effect like that now select all the keyframes and by holding alt i'll drag them up to 1.10 frames so we'll get something like this now select this layer press r for rotation create one keyframe over here hit u go to around here and let's make this complete one rotation like this select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see this we will get something like this now initially go over here press s create one keyframe over here and go to 10 frames again create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so we'll get something like this yeah now we will enable this uh, hidden layers and we will unhide all of them we will select this uh, e press p for position create one keyframe at the x and go to around four seconds and now i'll move this up to here so we'll get something like this let's move them over here now select those keyframe and hit f9 and let's see yeah so we'll get something like this <laughs> I think let's move this to 3 maybe yeah and after that hit page down button one time after this keyframe create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y and now go after around four second i'll move this e over here like that and one keyframe at the y position and in middle of that i'll move this e over here so we will get something like this now select those y keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor uh, select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here this handle over here this handle over here and this handle over here like this Yep, this looks good to me now go over here press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this zero or let's say two i think we need to make it zero two looks quite weird like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editors select this and by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if you hit play now you will get this animation like that now after this we will go over here we will create one keyframe at the rotation and now i want rotating animation from here to here let's which is 360 or complete one rotation let's make this two and let's see what how does it looks let's enable this option so we can see only this animation i think two is quite not enough so let's make it six let's see instead of six let's make it around four let's see yeah and over here instead of zero i'll make it three yeah so if you see this animation now we'll get something like this so this is for the e animation now we have to animate all these things so for that what we will do uh, i'll select all of them let's go around here and i'll hit ctrl r to bring back my ruler so i'll create one line over here now select all of them and press p for position create one keyframe at the start let's hide this one for now go to around one or let's say 1.20 frames create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring down like this 
now select all the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here yep now we will enable our e and now we will move these layers all up to here like this so we will select this e and for only now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for fill effect apply so we can see this e so at this point i want this end to appear so i'll move this over here with the help of open bracket so it will come after the e goes from them then this i so i'll move this over here so we will hit page down button accordingly then this c so move this over here let's move this over here like that then this k by holding space you can move this over here hit page down button so you can move one this time indicator one frame forward and backward like that after that go over here select this o move this over here and adjust the position then this n now we will select this and we will delete this fill let's see all our things how does it looks hit spacebar like that Now select all these things except E and we'll press Ctrl Shift C and hit OK. Now we what we will do, I'll select all of them. I mean this composition, I'll select this rectangle, see rectangle and we will create one mask like this. Let's move this, press V and move this downwards, select this, select this mask, double click and let's move this mask downwards and now if we see we'll get this kind of animation sit select this e hit u and i'll select this position keyframes i'll select this graph and we will select this handle and we'll move this handle over here so if you see now we'll get this kind of animation right click new and create one null object i'll select all of them i'll make it apparent with this null select this null press p create one keyframe press s create one keyframe and hit u and i'll move those keyframes over here and at this point i'll create at this point i'll create another keyframes and go over here now i'll move this over here and let's increase the scale and let's move this over here like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 so if i see this animation now we'll get something like this go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so let's see this animation once again let's make this fit So yep, this is our final animation with the help of simple step. We can create this kind of animation. We will create one solid background by pressing Ctrl Y and let's bring this downwards. So 
so this is how you can create nickelodeon animation with the help of photoshop and adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned